I got five items that every grill master needs to take their barbecue to the next level. I'm going to show you what they are and how to order them. And I'm going to show you right now. The first thing we're going to need is this, and it's called a charcoal chimney. And what we do is we put the charcoal down in here and then we light it from the bottom. No more having to use lighter fluid because that stuff is the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, as far as I'm concerned. But what's cool about this is all your charcoal is concentrated in one spot. So each charcoal heats up to the next. That's pretty quick. All right, I'm gonna show you how to use it. For this, I'm just using some regular Kingsford charcoal. We're just gonna fill the charcoal chimney up about halfway. To light our charcoal, we're just using a piece of tumbleweed. Put it down in the bottom, light it, and then put our charcoal chimney over the top. And it shouldn't take more than about 15, 20 minutes for all of our charcoal to be ready. The next item you're gonna want is the charcoal baskets. This is what we take the chimney and we dump the charcoal in. Now in this configuration, this is set for direct grilling. That's when your piece of meat sits on top of it like that. But also, you can go indirect grilling. And that is the meat goes in the middle and your heat source is here. There's a link down below for these and I'm gonna put them in the Weber kettle because it is time now to pour our charcoal into it. Here's a pro tip for you. When do you know when it's time to dump our charcoal chimney? Well, if you look in there, you can see that there's not a lot of smoke coming off of here and we're getting a lot of white up there on the tops of those charcoal. That means it's just about perfect. Now remember, we're doing the configuration that's saying, hey, we're cooking on direct heat. The next item we have is called a grill brush and it's also a scraper. It does have a scraping side, right? But this part right here, that's what we use to clean that grate that our food goes on top of. Ain't nobody want a bunch of old food that's sitting on our grill. Got about five minutes, and our temperature came up to about 450 degrees. So you can see I'm just gonna clean right here. I could clean over here if I wanted to, but perfect. This works great. This grill grate cleaner is a must have. The next item up is the Alpha Grillers instant read thermometer. It goes from 58 degrees to 572, folds out like that, it automatically turns on. Super cheap, but I'm telling you, if you want that chicken cooked just right, this is the way to go. You can get one of those meat thermometers, they're really cool, but on a thin piece of meat, they don't really stick in there that well, so you're gonna need the Alpha Griller meat thermometer. Link down below. Let's check the temp on our burgers. Hey, look at that. We're coming in at 176 and 158. These are perfect. The one item though that you really need is a charcoal grill. And for this one, I'm going with the Weber kettle. The Weber kettle is probably one of the oldest kettles out there and it still works today. And as promised to you, I have a bonus item and this is called the Vortex. Vortex is slick. It is the ultimate in indirect heating. You dump your charcoal down in here and you put whatever it is you want that's indirect heat along the sides. And if you're doing chicken wings, it's probably one of the best ways to do it. There's a link down below and I'll do a video on this too one of these days. So I'm telling you, it makes great chicken wings. And there you have it, the five items that every grill master needs to take their barbecuing to the next level. We also included a bonus item. You can find the link to all these in the description down below. It's just my Amazon Associates site. Really appreciate it if you check it out. All right, guys, we'll talk to you on the next video. Take care.